Hello boys, my name is Koyushi. Welcome back to my blind playthrough of Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope, the Tower of Doom DLC. The last video we left off on premium for six, uh, uh, level two, four, six, and we're gonna continue doing it because, oh my gosh, this floor is just gonna take a while, man. Let's just say, uh, having to do the premium mode eight times, each on different levels, uh, it's gonna be pretty tedious to do. Ugh. Oh yeah, there's not a lot here. Uh, I've already gotten most of the butter enemies, I think I'm just gonna have to do the Minichams or something. Or... Actually, now that I think of it, I don't really need star potions. I guess I'll just go for the left one. Uh, oh, we don't have a moon, so let's uh, just run into the battle after we uh, check to make sure we're not missing any team stuff. Oh, speaking of which, we are missing team stuff, so it's very important that we get our stuff back. Alright, we need to buff up our mm, set. We don't have powered up yet. Alright, now we need to actually spend our skill points on the skill tree that we missed the first time. I'll start by giving Mario a react charge and Rabbit Peach. Uh, actually start working towards emergency heal. Um, and Vez will still spark into damage. I have to all start getting critical hit chance now. And then I'll do HP X, then yeah. We'll spark I have to respect the full build. One thing I forgot to mention is uh, you don't wanna do the attack build for the whole battle. You wanna respect it briefly at least. Into something else. Anyways, I gave you some extra health there. Who should hopefully be more than enough? Let's go in. I don't want to waste too much time here. I will say having a healer definitely helps out the battle a lot. Anyway. Um. Well, I just go in and do this battle and not talk too much about strategy. Uh, I need to mention a few things. So, could actually just use an airplane if we wanted to, but I don't know if I want to do that. We each have one attack, we may as well use it. Finally. 
Good, nice split strat there. I have reached a high buying cover, unfortunately. But, whatever. Anyway. So, something I got to mention, somebody mentioned whether or not I'll be getting the new weapons for Rabbit Peach and Rabbit Mario, or more like the special hidden secret weapons. Uh, let me just tell you, buddy, right now, uh, just shout to him, whatever, I'm not gonna say his name, I'm just gonna mention stuff. Those weapons are only from if you pre-ordered the game, or... They could actually be from something else. I don't know, but last I checked, they were from a Ubisoft code or something, which I think requires Ubisoft Connect. Uh, I don't care about that. In fact, I'm going to consider that extra side content that does not need to be done. And because that is considered extra content, I'm considering it as extended content. And so, since it's not part of the main game, I unfortunately will not be buying it. I just need to mention that. Because, one, the figures pretty much only... It requires figures which pretty much only came out if you, uh... You only, oh, God, if you pre-ordered the game, which, unfortunately, I did not pre-order, of course. What, you think I have, like, 15 bazillion money? No, I have... A Life too, you know. I can't just do nothing. <laughs> so I, so I didn't pre-order the game, of course. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, let me just say it. I will not be getting the new weapons for Red, Red P. H because those are exclusively from a one-time limited event, sort of. Basically, the idea is they only um, are got gettable if you went and did our battles. Like, like, basically, you needed to have pre-ordered the game in order to get all the stuff, which, of course, I didn't. So, I will not be, uh, going for any of those. Well, rather, either of those, uh, special minis, because, um, it would seem silly to have to waste more money on an already somewhat expensive game to get even more prizes. So... Um, because I'm going to consider the set, uh, I'm going to consider that extra content, so for all I care, I think I still got all the weapons that I'm looking for, and I'm not going to change that, <laughs> because it would be really silly. I'll eat, uh, fake, so, um, yeah, if you, uh, one... Uh, wondering if I was gonna get the special Ubisoft Connect weapons, which, by the way, is uh, another different way of unique weapon skin. Because that's not included in the base game, I am not going to be going for them, so let it be known that I will not be going for them. I couldn't even fall over that. It was uh, I straight up could not fall over that. But there you go. I just thought I would mention in this battle before anybody gets super confused. Oh yeah, I delayed the heal, but that was on purpose because we went for the team heal one because there was no M's to be had. Alright, um, again, no extra bonuses. What is with the game and suddenly not giving us any... Upgrades. That's so weird, man. Uh, I'm so confused. Uh, Alright. I said I got, like, one golden Sark fame for Rabbit Beach. And I wasn't kidding when I said that. 
Ooh. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I have two of the golden circs. Whether or not I go for them depends on the extra statement. Alright. We'll go for that. After the entry build, we'll probably just uh, save up our rest of our movie to get spark energy instead. We also don't really need it, but we don't really need healing range because uh, that's already pretty good most of the time. Um, Mario, you're going to get the final bit of extra health. Ravos is going to keep building damage. I'm going to respec him into health, I think, later. Or er, into health later. So we're doing full offense build for those. Um, AG, I'm now going to do your weapon damage a bit more. And that's that. I don't get why they always throw Ravavigi at. I think that's probably just for the defeat, um, Dark Messiah battles, so they're not as bad. Alright, well, let me just say, to make it easier on us, I do not want to do another golden tier battle. Since I'm only really using the golden thing on Rabbit Peach, I don't really need that. Also, I don't need that because I have a chest already. So let's uh, get that statement. I actually get our first cooldown clock. Why not? Start building up towards that. We could also get the healer, although because we have Rabbit Peach now, we don't need to get the healer. Rabbit Peach in, himself, in herself is a healer, so we could just do that. Let's, dance. Let's just go into the battle. It's better than uh, waiting longer. I like how that enemy still survives for all that. It just shows how take heals Rain Stooges can be. Maybe I should have used uh, my um, spark power buff. Oh well. Oh, okay. The enemy almost got shot out of bounds, but it didn't quite met out of bounds. We'll sign a scoper. Yeah, by the way, I specifically have to have going for the fence build. That's mainly because uh, we don't really need uh, the uni build for the first bit of the game. Hey, here goes. We should focus. Have nothing else to do but pass the turn. We can ignore most of the items. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Again, enemies being invisible, being almost impossible to see. That seven did not last one. He got flanked pretty much immediately. The route he took. Honestly, any bit of extra damage and any time we can beat the enemies up is honestly not bad at all. Definitely helps out a little bit, at least. Out of all the enemies to have to defeat, the Flayed Steelers are probably one of the worst ones to have to do so. Ha 
That's for sure. Gotta remember, we don't have the extra attacks out, so we'll have to dash to Okay, that worked, though. I'm gonna actually force an attack on this enemy as well. I like being able to dash and just make the enemies fly up in the air so they automatically get hit by the next attack. It helps out so much. Uh, I don't want to use the heal just yet. I haven't taken nearly enough damage yet. Sleepy time! <laughs> I wait, that was a lot of work. We only defeated one stooge each time. Okay, she was this dead. And there's probably way too many of them to warrant a direct attack. To probably, uh,. Work on them one at a time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think I want to destroy the car just yet. Also, the name, so I probably should have swapped that out. I did not know about that. Although we don't have another flame thing we could use it. Alright. Just of it. Somehow you avoided Mario's um, heal shot again. I don't know why sometimes Mario's heal shot will not trigger at all, and other times they will. It, it, it's just so dumb. I don't get why it doesn't work half of the time, but it just does. It's so weird. Yeah. Alright. Now's the turn where I'm gonna do the same ice safety, but also the like, build. I'm gonna Nui everyone and probably focus on one turret now. Uh... Whatever, I'll. S I, whatever, I'll set him here so I have Peach's turret as well to get the next we take out. I should probably use him first then. I'll need to move a little bit closer now to the enemies. Uh, because I want to set this up a bit better. I'm gonna have Vezo somewhat aggressive and use this right next to everyone so they all get knocked back. Okay, I can't actually net name them, that's bad. I should have thought of that. Hey! Whatever, I'll set up my new here instead. And set him up as a sentry, although it's not going to be as powerful since he doesn't have his special water attack being yet. But I'll get that probably the next battle. Or we can exchange health to guarantee that he gets that. I'm gonna change my setup slightly. Uh, 
Didn't quite defeat that opponent. Alright, let's just see what happens then. Yeah, I almost forgot about that guy down there. I actually kind of wanted to get burned there, because it made Rabbit Peach uh, get unfrozen. Because as you know, ice to fuzz fire. Definitely logical. Don't you think? <laughs> By the way, now that we're in the uh, higher ranks of the levels, I will mention enemies do start to hit a bit harder. Like, more around the stall tier of hard. So... Uh, they will, there will certainly be some tough battles in here. All the other enemies, though, they don't matter. Flaming Stooges are the only ones that really matter. Speaking of which, let's just that for now this time. So they don't do anything. So that's right, anyway, didn't hit. We don't have a guaranteed uni dash to apply uni to the turret, unfortunately. I don't know what to do now. I know for a fact, though, I don't want to get frozen, so I'll have to be like back here, I think, to guarantee that. Get frozen, and then you're just gonna have to change their movement. And I'll have Mario do it. The only problem is I won't be able to run away from it. So we automatically... Uh, mm, oh, except we have file bites so we don't get frozen. We don't have the range, so we'll have to go in here. Just use... Mm, mm, down. There we go. 
So now we have uh, Red Beach is able to heal again. Okay, good. He didn't freeze anyone. I think I want to set up a loop with that, I mean, where I just start stun locking him with Rabbit Rose. That's the enemy I want to uni. Make sure it never happens in. Oh, great portals. Ugh. Not fun. Portals, those are always really great. Not really. Yeah, no way I'm dealing with those. I might have to heal we both of them too, so that enemy's gonna get in me. It's back, but <clears throat> it is what it is. We don't have a second AoE to help with that, so we'll have to briefly focus on the portals. Let's go ahead and buff everyone so they are damaged now. Have bit each baby retreat a bit more to this backward cover. We literally annihilated all the cards to make that happen, but it's fine. Alright, now Red Rose will finish off one. And Peach will finish off another one. That gets rid of both of those trolley portals. Mario will just have to fire at something. Okay, that guy didn't do anything, thankfully. Oh cool, we had defeated that one before I could do anything. That scoper and them seem to like focusing on that wall claw. Ever, mate. Alright, now we're in a heal. We wait too long. Before we end up waiting too long. But yeah. By the way, uh, just so I'm clear and, like, not incisive, mm, I will say it once again, I'm not getting the extra weapons for Rabbit Mario or Rabbit Peach. Specifically the ones from the Ubisoft Connect thing. It, it, like, I, I think I mentioned before, it's a pre-order only this. I did not have the time to get it. And I certainly do not want to waste money. Okay. Ninja is already tight. I have a light ninja by now. So, yeah, I have to... I'm just gonna... Keep doing what I'm doing and uh, forget that ever happening. So, that specific weapon, uh, I'm gonna consider as extra content. So, if you were wondering about that, there you go. We're not doing that special weapon thing at all. By the way, this is just not how it's fully defeated, but uh, it's not like we could do much else. Oh, right. oh, okay, we'll just defeat that enemy then. Okay, good. The hero shot did the extra bit of damage. Okay, this time we can just skip the portal and just uh, take out the other opponent. I'm gonna try and do it with Riz first. Let's see what happens. There's flame now. Really annihilate this car. The Dill Flame can sometimes work really well for just annihilating cover, so it all goes away. Alright, all right, here we go. go. Now we just have to finish off this. Alright.
But yeah, uh, yeah, uh, drop me that note <clears throat> onto a better note. That was really spread out. Who did not like that a bit? These coins are getting harder to get, but uh, so we did get a bonus of 150 more coins. So I guess maybe going for that wasn't so bad after all. At least that gives us more items. Alright, now's the time when the reduction stuff really comes into play. Uh... I already have some chest stuff, and because I got lucky with healing them, I don't really need the extra stuff, so... Let's throw in one more of these, and for the rest, cooldown clocks. Then, uh, we're gonna look at this. We have a spark to get, so looks like we're heading this way. I'm not even... Uh, one thing I'm definitely doing is I'm not wasting time looking around to look at the other battle setups. If I see that um, I need to get a spark in a particular battle, I will go for it for the reasons I already mentioned. Okay. Um, we need Red Leiji for this battle. But who do we even replace? Uh, Mario, I think you haven't doing enough. I'm gonna put Ryan you out, because we definitely need Rabbit Peach for the healing. We need those for being able to stun the enemies so they don't move. And you know what? I'm just gonna do the reset thing now. So, um, the alteration build and the extra build that I'm going for. Oh, did I just realize... Oh, no, I can't. The alteration bill is basically just getting all of the uni talents that uh, say that they are the uni talent tree. And then also refunding one HP segment to get uni dash. Typically, you don't want it because, well, Rabbit Rose is better at a damage dealer and also does more damage, but... If we set it up this way, we can effectively get an almost infinite stun lock, sort of. So, it'll still not cool down very fast, but the main uni will now last up to two turns on enemies, not just one. And, um... Of course, uh, we have the dash to be able to still apply to other enemies. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I actually need to do Sparks as well, since they probably got an extra level, and I haven't even been looking at that. Um, uh, I think I need AoE here. Let's do this first. Then sun this epic. I feel like this is probably a bad idea. Maybe let's not duck that up all the way. Let's get Skyrain Shock up a bit instead. Yeah, I forgot to feed by Star in between that last battle, which was a bit rough. But it is what it is. Those extra stars I'm probably not going to use unless I absolutely think I need them for a battle or two. To look at first. Okay, we got all of them up except Con Cameo and a Gargantua fan and Scooper Master. So we are decently prepared now. Next, I need to actually do the other skill trees. Um, I'm going to wait for Mario so he can get sight again. His defeated. I just realized in the boss battle I should probably change that out to not have Sai again and instead have something else like maybe a jump shot or something. So when I uh, eventually uh, team jump I could shoot in the air. It's a bit awkward to use but I think I want to do that. Uh, 
Red Peach. Oh, right. I'm waiting for her to get Spark Power. So I'm not sure if that will be good or not. Um, uh, Rabbit Luigi, I guess we should give you some movement. There we go. Now we're prepared. Uh, the question is, who do we even use Dash on at all? Well, for one, I'm not going to be focusing on the enemies here. So we're going to start by summoning the Scoper right off the bat. Then we're gonna want. And <laughs> Luigi to just do this for now. Swish! I figured one of them might move Red Peach around a bit. A bit annoying. The RNG happened like that. Oh yeah, the range! My goodness. Almost forgot about this range here. Alright. You're stuck uh, right now, Rabbit Luigi. Where do I even go for? Probably this, I guess. This looks like a tricky battle if we do not uh, set it up properly. Alright. I definitely need a target to be able to dash out right away. Uh, Spell Razor. Probably want to defeat that right away before he summons two Enchantion. Okay, that one just went up top, but then he went back down. Okay. Oh, jeez. I just realized there's a lot of enemies here. Maybe the spell wasn't such a good idea again. I said I had to do it because of a spark, but there was also a random sand near me. Uh, whatever. We'll make it work. We'll have to make it work. Perfect. It's actually not bad. Oh, the uni, uh, didn't even... Right off, that's right, because, uh, uni lasts two turns now. I figured I would change to that build, both to show it off and also to show off the fact that, um, it's really good, particularly for battles where you don't want to actively focus on taking out all the enemies but still safely uh, deal with most of them. Excuse me. No worries. Well. I didn't quite reach that, but I was trying to dash him with that, so I wouldn't waste the uni dash on that. Now you have to dash like this. Of course, the big problem with LAG you see already is his um, attack is the hardest of the three several attacks to control in this game. Because there's no real control over where it goes. <laughs> and also, it's just real hard to do with. 
Okay, I have a better idea, actually. It might work a bit better. Okay. Run up here, then run back down. Ow. So we get a bit more movement. And I'm gonna use it. Use this just facing here. This will destroy the cover, but I don't really care. Because it knocks out that enemy that would have been trolly to me later. And then, Red Peach. You'll just have to stick with it. <laughs> just throw yourself behind this cover. Though it's not going to really matter. We're probably going to get in anyway. We're going to beat this enemy. We'll use the same setup as we did the last time we initially did these kind of battles. And Mavis will be focusing on mostly the enemies exclusively, but having his uni build so she can um, constantly um, put people into stun whenever possible. Then we'll be using other abilities to do other stuff. Probably. Okay. From there, we just have to hope for the best. I think the later fours will certainly be hard. They probably mentioned that the she will be going up even higher as we go further on. That's for sure. I'm just getting right now. Healing vibes, literally. Okay, you barely have enough to do that. We'll just make that target that gets... Let's see, where, the, where can Ragit Luigi go safely? Not there, probably. I think I want to go, like, there. Or, actually, I'd probably be better off going completely different, right? Really. I think Rabbit Luigi's help first for a bit to set up Rabbit Peach a bit better. Rabbit Peach will go. So that's going around right here. That's a fail. We're not actually going to the yeah. one. We're going over here instead. We're hitting this group of uh, eyes here with Rabbit Luigi. That's pretty much the only true way to speedrun these kinds of missions. Let's look for a bunch of Dark Mess eyes failed together and defeat them all at once. Okay, um, uh, I do want to continue retreating to the side end, honestly. Okay. And so, Brother Viz will actually get thrown in a similar direction to where mm, did up. So we'll start to run away from the enemies and hope they don't catch us. We do have a heal in a couple of turns if we need it. Okay, it looks like, because I want to make sure that we destroy all the stuff, I guess Red Vils will go for that thing, and then we'll use this to attack this side. Right. We can do other stuff. So, I think I've mentioned a bit, only a little bit, about the Uni build occasionally, but this is my first time actually using the full build. The main thing this build does is obviously expand the range so you can hit the enemies a bit easier. And the second is it straight up just makes our enemies and go up a lot less. The idea of this is you're stunning the enemies, basically making it so they don't do anything for a couple of turns. And the AoE effect of this really helps, I think, with this battle. 
The only problem being there's already so many enemies that it'll be very hard to ultimately get rid of them all. That Luigi survived. Alright, he needs to use an item. That's because he was so bad, that's perfect. We could just use the slash shift to immediately restore all of his health back. And we'll have him continue to retreat. We'll just have to change the route in which he retreats a bit. Alright. Bad Rose cannot uni dash something yet, unfortunately. Whoa. I tried to go up there, did not work out. Alright. No enemies are in range, unfortunately, going this route. So that means I'll have to fire at the eye again. Hey, that was not gonna work. That was on purpose so we could jump down and maybe get a better. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh my gosh, it really, really, right, and wants to go up the top. Great. That changes our route com considerably. I was initially gonna go for a more safer path, but I think I'm gonna have to take guaranteed freeze damage to make this happen. <laughs> Probably because the enemies aren't in range, I imagine. So, Fred, we'll do it anyway. We'll have to take a bit of damage, but it's worth it to not take any extra damage from the enemies, hopefully. Oh, okay, good. They don't know about the invincible power yet. Okay, now they're starting to figure stuff out. Hey, okay, whoever Rose is probably in it now. And Fizz. She had it through cover too. Okay. Good. We're getting some nice lucky misses. Goomas are thankfully nowhere near us. Oh, Uni's finally back up. Now he can go in and finally do something. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we actually get our character set up properly. Well, let's see. I want to put characters on this edge part for sure. I mean, this will probably be the ultimate spot where I throw them in. But as for the order I want to do it in, I'm still kind of unclear. For starters, though, I think I'll summon a scoper. I'll throw him. Try to throw him here. Maybe I'll take the bow that to one I want. Or I'll just go all the way back there. Okay. As you might have noticed, the scoper is a bad habit of not actually choosing the best cover, just kind of goes wherever he thinks is the farthest away spot instead. Alright. Almost done with the setup. Now it's time for Operation uh, Protect Rabbit Luigi. I'm gonna throw him and. Uh, uh, to save time, I'm just gonna throw him and Rabbit Luigi into the same exact spot. 
which is about here. And now I just need to figure out what eyes I should take out first. Well, well, because I don't want to immediately um, force these enemies to be uh, treated later, I should go for this hat first. So I don't have them uh, messing me up later. And also to potentially remove one of the enemies. So there's a little less of the enemies to deal with. And then... I remember, do not use Rabbit Cam on Cameo here. Just use Uni. Yeah, we're gonna use Uni. We're gonna stun these enemies over here. And then the next turn, we'll just hit that fiend on the right. The orb on the right, that is. Do ever stuff. And I'm gonna have Rabbit Peach. Uh, Rabbit Peach, actually, we could go a bit back if we want, but I don't want any extra attacks too much, so Rabbit Peach, you're gonna hit that enemy to beat it. So that's one less enemy. Um, now we'll pass the turn so we can set up better for the next turn. Don't. Okay, went through the cover. Okay, that time view wasn't even in cover. Okay, good. There we go. So that is covered. I just... Oh, my. I got all the way around the car despite all of what I did. Okay. Don't. Later on, especially in these tighter battles, we'll probably be getting our first defeats, eventually. Okay, cool, that actually defeated an enemy, that's nice. Alright, I have an idea, but Peach will have to waste our turn to do it. Actually, we don't even want to use the AoE heal, necessarily. We should, actually, no, we could. That's, we'll do it. We'll dole heal, we'll have to retreat even further from the Peach, because, uh... I've certainly been underestimating how much damage these enemies deal. Probably the annoying thing is the enemies are really good at adapting. They really love just... ...going around, making sure the, to have her stuff. Okay, that is not the best setup at all. I think our only safe setup is here, unfortunately. Or we can go for uh, this thing. I'll we'll destroy this one, probably. After we go ahead and weaken the enemies first, of course. Yeah, we'll just also remove this Kuma right here. Peach certainly took a lot of damage. We'll certainly need to find better cover for her. I think this uh, here is slightly better cover. But we also need to destroy the other enemies. So I think it's time now. We'll go with Vesov with that, that move for us to the enemies. Oh, I just realized what we can do now.
Okay, it only hits on the lower end. That's a no. Uh, in fact, I wish I had known that. Okay, that works, though. Okay, so that means if we want to hit that barrier up there, we cannot use the side thing. We have to use Skyrim right here to get it done. Okay, well, that works. Alright, that works, certainly. It was a bit tricky of a turn, but we got it done. The enemies that are most dangerous, they've been, um, unmmmed, and we also have two characters in car, so hopefully we should not attack this time. I removed the enemies from the back because I knew for sure those were gonna directly attack us. So by removing those, that's less enemies to deal with. I'm gonna continue to do the setup that I wanted to do with Riz, so Riz is gonna continue to defeat the enemies. Obviously if we have Rabbit Mario this would be way better, because Rabbit Mario is much more better at defeating groups of enemies like this. Alright. Put you in a stun line. There's still three orbs over there. Okay, we could destroy those. But then how will they destroy the other stuff? I think if we want to play it safe, we'd have to stray at least with something that isn't uh, attacking. And then we need to destroy one more guaranteed with each other character. If I would have to make that work, Rabbit Peach would get that orb. Hmm, get that orb. And... Luigi with this up uh, would get. Oh, jeez. Don't waste my turn on that now. Um, and then Luigi would get all these. So that means I have to use Skyrim Shock right here. For that setup to work, I need to use Skyrim Shock right here. Keep in mind, this is random. So won't always get rid of it. Okay, I did get it. Good, alright. Got it, good. Now we just defeat this and the battle will finally be over. This has certainly been a nightmare field battle of us, if you ask me. Okay. No for a fat is we'll probably have to team jump to get in reach. So we'll fare as far as we can. We'll even move after it so she can curve and not hit the block. And then Rebels can hit this to finally finish off the battle, so... In the end, was that worth it? Probably not. It ended up taking a lot longer than I thought. If I was going for a speedrun, I'd probably be avoiding the Dark Messiah's battle. Not bad, actually. Considering so start to that one, we definitely got a lot more coins than we usually do. And I think in the end it was worth it. We got two very valuable sparks from that battle, and we got a somewhat heal anyway, so <laughs> some health back. Now what do we have? Only two different battles. 
We either have for one that gives us a Legi, which is probably not going to be worth it. I know it's the final battle coming up, but I think Legi isn't really that worth it. And we still need to go for Spara. Speaking of which, we need to check that. Our sparks did go up, it looks like. We're at 27 out of 30 unlocked now. Until that says 30, I'm going to go for only sparks every time. So that means we'll be sticking with our antos, which means... Depending on our setup, we might have to reset a bit more often. Okay, uh, I wanted to finish off a set before I go in. Ooh, uh, the other one is just try to, oh, that, the other one's just defeat all, and if we take a look at it, there's only four enemies in that battle, so that one's much easier to do. So, um, on that note, let's, uh, replace that with Luigi with Mario. And to save time for later, let's do upgrades. I think I definitely want Gargantua Friend upgraded. His AoE might be one of the better AoEs in the game. It's really good when you want to, like, absolutely annihilate cover. Then I'll put in Zephyr, or actually I could put in Electric right now. I'll keep Scoper Master, because that's still a pretty great one he is. Uh, I'm gonna buff Akmax first, though. Then use my remaining moods to just get the other ones I might use to level 3. So they're not doing nothing. And the one that I've picked for Mario, that's gonna be the one I get. Though, it depends. It might be different. I might need a gust attack, who knows. However, I'll, 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 do, I'll do this back to right anyway. Save a bit of time. Then we go, uh, team. And Rabbit Peach can now get her spark energy. Spark energy is really great on Rabbit Peach, just so that she can uh, use the other item. I don't know if I'll want to use this more than once, though, so I think on the next turn we, uh, exchange that, and actually, I, I, now that I think of it, it's probably not even a great idea to begin with. I think, instead, what we should have is Spark Refresher, so she can constantly use her a bit more. And Rav Peach is the only character I warrant doing this on, because she doesn't really have much damage she can go for on her build anyway. She's one of the few characters that can actually go for damage. I am going to change things up a bit. Because we can't really defeat a lot of enemies, we're going to remove Sight again on the boss. And exchange it for this. And some... Maybe some movement, depending on what the build allows for. Maybe even weapon range would also be nice. This lets me basically uh, attack and do additional damage by shooting in the air. I don't know if it works with the tough build yet, but I've never tried. Probably never will. Alright. Well, I know I don't need the reset set. So let's go, go for all this. You need a dash. Uh, for the extra stuff on our build, we'll probably do movement. For the later ones. So typically movement range would help out a lot. I guess we could also have a weapon range as well. But then again, he's not going to really be doing much attacking to begin with. Since she'll be forced on spamming the spark thing. Alright, um... I don't think I actually need any items that I know of. I'm going to stop the video, though, here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry about that, but <laughs> this is a very long series. It's going to only get longer from here, I guess. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>